today we are going into the Forbidden City. It has palaces and houses that um, that was given, well, in ancient times. The wall of the Forbidden City is yellow and red. Flowers are covered here. I think it is probably about five meters tall from the bottom to top. That is called the Tian An Road. Most, uh, most people of China knows what that is. That is where you enter the, um, the Palace Museum of the Forbidden City. <laughs> This is how we enter. We go on the five and one of coal. And now we're going in the Forbidden City. Now there is a palace museum. We went through the first palace where the emperor lives and I'm gonna tell you what um, what facts about the palace museum and the forbidden city. This is what it actually looks like inside. This whole area was built in the year 1420, which is a very long time ago. This is also used in the Ming and Qing dynasties for emperors. It is called Forbidden City because it is very big in ancient times but not compared to now. Only emperors and priests can, like important people can enter the, the palace, not like farmers or, or, um, or like random people or servants. Well, some soldiers can enter as well. That is called the Hall of Supreme Harmony. In Chinese, we call it the Tai He Dian. It was um, it was built for very very important ceremonies with the emperors. So um, it is also very big. Big. I'm going to take you up the stairs and into it. Oh, crowded. The crane and the turtle. There's two of them all over that side. 